Very quickly, I just wanted to point out significant figures. It's something that is distinctly put in the study design, but some people sort of neglect to learn it. Now, really important, significant figures is a very complex topic. It's maths, but we sort of need to know it very briefly for chemistry. Now, why? Do all questions have significant figures? For the exam, you are going to do significant figures on every single question, but does not mean every question will be marked for significant figures. Notoriously, chemistry has allocated one mark to one question for significant figures. And you know what they've done? They haven't told anyone what that is. And they haven't told you what that is while you're sitting in the exam. So, for you, you're like, well, how am I meant to know which question to do significant figures on? You're not meant to know. You're meant to do them on all of them. And if you do them on all of them, you'll get the one that has significant figures marks. So, how do they work? There's three major rules. All non-zero digits are significant. Any zeros between two significant digits are significant. So this zero here is, but these zeros at the end are not because there's no significant digit after. Same thing here, this one is significant. This one is, but this one is not. Um, a zero which is after a significant figure and after a decimal point is significant. So if you write, you could write that as three. So this first one here, I could just write that as three. But because I wrote that as 3.00, that means I have three significant figures. Same thing here. I could have written this, written this as 4.4, but I put a zero on the end, so it counts. Now, this one's interesting. This first zero does not count, because if I had to write this out more simply, I'd write 0 0.012. It would be two significant figures. These two do not count. Because I've added these two zeros, this becomes four significant figures. Now, what does that mean for a question? Well, that means when I answer a question, I need to look at the significant figures that are in the stem of the question. So the question on the paper, look at the stem, look at the numbers that are in the stem. If there is a number that is written like this, I need to answer my question, I do my maths and I answer it as a significant figure of three. So three significant figures. If my answer is 2.4, I need to write 2.40 because the question had 3.00 in it. Now, Example, 30.0, how many significant figures is this? Let's go through it. So, oh, this is a load. There you go. Uh, the three is uh, a non-zero, so it's significant. The first zero at first seems not significant, but then the second zero after um, a, is after a dot point, so therefore it's going to be significant. And then, the first zero then becomes significant because it's between the two. So therefore I have three C figs or significant figures. Um, also just some other aspects. If you are given two numbers to divide um, or multiply, maybe you're doing like a moles calculation and one of them is to three significant figures and one of them is to four, you go to the least number of significant figures. Same with addition and subtraction. If you are adding numbers and you've got less significant figures, you go to the least 